Hi and welcome to another video on Mac 4 and this one is an update to the homing script that I wrote quite a while ago which unfortunately is now broken. If I do a reference all home from here you'll notice that my offsets have now been applied of 5.5 five and minus 2 but I haven't got my script running in the background to tell it to do the offsets. So Mac 4 is actually applying these offsets even though the machine hasn't moved. If I go into my screen load script and I think if I remember rightly we put one in the reference all home button and put in an offset applied variable for it to find. If I enable these once again, so we've got the script running, we'll have a look to see what happens to the axis once it's got the offset applied to it again. So if we enable the machine and do another reference home, as you can see, we've got everything as asked for from our offsets of five five and a minus two. If you take a look at your machine coordinates, you find it's now doubled up. We've got a 10, 10 and a 4. So we need to make some changes in our script itself. So if we go into the screen load script within the screen editor and go to our PLC script where we've got our homing script written in there. And underneath the MC G code execute weight, we're going to insert this lot. We're going to be using a command called MC motor set home position. After we've executed our offsets, we're going to tell the machine coordinates they are at them offsets that we've set in the Mac config. The command starts off as most commands do in Mac using the instance that we set earlier on in the script and this does not run by an axis this runs by a motor number so the zero is our motor zero and of course we need to tell it what our offset was so we can tell it what the motor coordinates we need to set it to but it doesn't stop there the MC motor set home precision is set up with counts per unit on the motor which you would have set up during the Mac configuration but an easier way for us to convert that is just to multiply our offset by what we've already got in our counts per unit so we can just call that with our MC profile and get our counts of counts per unit for that one motor the zero on the end is purely a fallback if it doesn't find what it's looking for, it will set that to a zero. Because these are motor offsets, if you have any slave drives at all that are homing, like I have on motor one and motor three, are twinned together as one axis, you must complete this for all the axes that are there. And last of all, we'll set our axis to our offsets. So both our machine coordinates and axis coordinates are set exactly the same. If we now exit out of our Lua editor and our screen editor, we can enable our machine and we can do a reference all home. It'll do the reference home, it'll apply the offsets, and if you notice, the 10 came up and we took it, took it back off of it and stuck it back down to 5 where we wanted it. So our machine coordinates and user units are now more aligned with each other. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and once again, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.